Hey, family, Pastor Josh, again, January 4th, we're continuing uh, a season of praying to abide in God's word together, and whether that's including fasting, which is coming up Jan 10th to 14th, or you're doing your own schedule of fasting, or have your own plans in terms of how you're going to encounter God this year. We wanted to join together in seeking the Lord in his word, and, and as we abide in his word, to really encounter Jesus. Uh, the word for today that we want to encourage you from actually comes out of Second Peter chapter 2, uh, and this is the verse, it's verse, or excuse me, chapter 3, verse 5, says, For they deliberately overlooked this fact, that the heavens existed long ago, and the earth was formed out of water and through the water by the word of God. Uh, the point here is that the word of God, God spoke, right? And heavens and earth are created. Uh, in Genesis, we see him speaking light and light exists, right? Uh, and so everything created by the word of God. What does that mean? It means he can create. It means he has a plan. Uh, if you look at the context in Second uh, Peter, he's talking about actually the end times and how God had a plan from the beginning of what will happen at the end. And so there's also an encouragement here that uh, not only did God's word form this whole world, but it had a plan for this whole world. And that plan is going to happen. Uh, so, Lord, I just pray for each one of us that we would trust your purpose we would trust your plan. God, we'd remember that we're part of a bigger thing you're doing, uh, a plan that stretches all over the earth. Let us um, say yes to you, that we could abide in the middle of your will, not on the edges, not fighting against you, uh, which would never work anyway. But um, as you told Paul, you know, don't kick against the goads, it would say in, in a King James Version, fight against you. Rather, we'd run towards you. So help us to be people that run towards you, Lord. We thank you for that. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I hope you guys continue to be encouraged that God's word is powerful. Uh, God's word is beautiful, and it can strengthen us. Uh, more than anything, strengthens us by encountering the living word, Jesus himself. God bless.